Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number six in the directory traversal module titled File Path Traversal with Null Byte Bypass. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product images. The application validates that the supplied file name ends with the expected file extension. So it needs an expected file extension. To solve the lab, retrieve the contents of the passwd file. Okay, so the target goal over here is to exploit the path traversal vulnerability and retrieve the contents of the passwd file. Okay, let's open the lab. Now notice over here, this is the inbuilt browser in Burp. And so if we go to proxy right over here, all the requests are being intercepted in my proxy. Now this is the same application that we've been dealing with in previous labs. It retrieves images from the server and the request that is responsible for doing that is this one over here. So we're gonna send that to repeater and evaluate if this request has any vulnerabilities in it. Now, anytime you see a user supplied input that could potentially be retrieving content from the server, you should test it for vulnerabilities like path traversal, RFI, and LFI. Um, and today we're gonna test it for path traversal. So if we hit send right over here, you could see it's a 200 OK message and it displays the content of the image 48.jpg. Now let's assume we tried everything that we tried in the past five labs and it didn't work. So the next thing to try is to see if there's some kind of defense mechanism that requires that you have this specific extension for the request to go through. So the way to kind of bypass that is to add the file that you want to view. So let's say dot 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 slash dot 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 slash dot 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 slash and then etc pass wd. And then what you could do is add something called the null byte, which is represented using these characters in hexadecimal. What that does is essentially says, ignore everything after the null byte. And so it'll ignore all of this. And what will be processed in the backend is this specific string over here. So let's bring that back and test it out. And here we go, it works. So we get the content of the past WD file. Now this doesn't always work for every application. It depends on the language that you're using and the framework that you're using and how it's being processed in the backend. But when it does work, it allows you to bypass certain defenses that are in the backend. So if we reload this page right over here, you should see the message that says, congratulations, you solved the exercise. And we do. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.